Hello guys, welcome for this first Shopify tutorial. So the first one in English. So for this Shopify tutorials, so we will take a real example. Um, so it's um, online shops of one of my friends, Johan Peratoner. So he's an artist uh, selling painting. So he's creating everything himself. And you will see with all tutorials we will do during the next days, we will keep this example. And you will see all the steps to create your online shop with Shopify from scratch. And I will give you all my advice, all my tips to do it the right way. Okay, so let's begin. So the first one will be about to connect your Shopify store with your own domain name. So here, for example, so the current domain name is Johan Peratoner, myshopify.com. So you will not communicate this name to your customers. So we'll customize it. So currently we have already a website. So www.johanparatoner.com. So we'll keep this one for now, just to introduce Johan Peratoner, his profile, and we will create the shop, the online shop with a subdomain shop.uanparatoner.com. And for this, it's quite, to do this, it's quite easy. We'll have just to do one configuration with our DNS. So the DNS is like the identity card of your domain name. So with the DNS, you will tell exactly where to redirect your domain name to which server, to which service, or for your emails, which service to use, and so on. So about DNS, so you can have more information if you have a if you have a look at my website, and you will find also more tips about this video. So here, for example, Shopify is explaining how to point a subdomain to your Shopify store. So there is different way to do it. So first, if you start from your Shopify store and if you go on the left and then you select domains, so you will see your current domain name and then you will have three options. So either to buy a new domain name, so you will buy it with Shopify, Shopify will be your domain name registrar or you can transfer a domain name you already have with another register and you will so transfer it with Shopify or you have the third option to connect an existing domain name. So you will keep on one side your registrar and you will just point it to Shopify. So my recommendations is to use a third option to connect an existing domain name. So why I really recommend to do that? Because it's much better to have on one side another partner to deal with uh, your domain name and another one so for your service so here for example Shopify if anything happen with your Shopify account for example and you have your domain name registered with Shopify then you are just fucked and you cannot do anything for example you cannot redirect your domain name to another page or to another server and usually with all companies I work with, we always work this way. So we separate every time your domain name register with your services. So let's start by connecting our domain name. So we will connect shop.uanperatoner.com. Click on the next. And so then we'll just follow the instructions. So just create a CNAME pointing to shops.myshopify. Com. So our registrar is Gandhi. So you have many registrar like GoDaddy or Namecheap. So I used to work with uh, Gandhi.net. So it's a French registrar. So but you can have it in English as well. So I used to work with Gandhi because it's easy to use. And one of his main strength is uh, you can save your previous version of your DNS. So you can do any change, it will be saved. 
every time and if you do something wrong you can just go back to the previous step and you don't have to reset everything so this is very useful if you do something wrong just go back to the previous previous step and everything will be fine here you can see so i already have a c name with my 3w so currently it's a wix wix website so we'll just had a new one so a new c name so shop dot dot com and we'll just point to this one so don't forget just to add a point at the end because otherwise it will just add the domain name right after my shopify.com and then let's go to create it and then so let's wait a few minutes Usually you you will wait around 10, 15 minutes. It depends how long it will take to spread. So then what you can do as well is to do a quick uh, check of your new DNS. So for example, dnschecker.org. And so you will just enter your domain name and with the C name. And then, so here you can see everything looks fine. And so then if we go back on our Shopify store and we verify the connection. Okay, success, congrats. So here we are. So now we have the new domain name. We are ready now to use our new domain name. And so give a try. And if you have any questions, just drop your message right below the video or have a look at my, at my website and you will have more tips and advice to do these configurations. Thank you for watching me. Have a nice day. Bye.